Hello friends, welcome to Engineering Panda family. In this video, I will discuss about properties of Nyquist rate. In my last video, I have explained sampling theory and Nyquist rate. One should know Nyquist rate is a minimum sampling frequency by which one can reconstruct original signal from sampled signal. So once you do sampling, after sampling, if you want to reconstruct original signal from sampled signal, then sampling frequency should be at least Nyquist rate and Nyquist rate frequency is two times of FM where FM is maximum frequency of original signal. So in my last video, I have discussed about Nyquist rate. Nyquist rate is a sampling frequency that is twice time of FM where FM is maximum frequency of original signal. See, this is a definition in terms of Hertz. Sometimes there can be a frequency in terms of radian per second. So one should know Nyquist rate that is a sampling frequency that is twice times of maximum frequency of original signal, right? And based on Nyquist rate, one can understand Nyquist interval. Nyquist interval is 1 divided by Fn, right? Now I'll explain you properties of Nyquist rate. First property is based on time shifting property. When you talk about time shifting property, one should know if you have original signal x of t, which is having Nyquist rate f of n, then after time shifting, Nyquist rate will not change. See, time shifting means you may shift x of t by plus or minus t naught. So after shifting x of t, Nyquist rate will remain same. Why? The reason is after time shifting, there won't be any change in frequency of original signal. So here Nyquist rate after time shifting will remain as it is, right? Now let me explain you second property that is based on time scaling property. Here we are considering our original signal x of t, which is having Nyquist rate f of n. Then after time scaling, Nyquist rate will change. Here we are scaling signal by a. So if you have signal x of a t, then Nyquist rate will be A times of Fn. If you multiply scaling factor A with time, then you will be increasing frequency of that given signal by A times. So Nyquist rate, that will be A into Fn, right? Now, I'll explain you next property that is power scaling property. If you consider original signal X of T, which is having Nyquist rate F of N and if you scale signal by power n, means now signal is x of t to the power n, then Nyquist rate will change. It will be n times of fn. So here, if you have power n with given signal, then n times there will be increase in frequency with given signal. So if you have power n with given signal, then you will have to multiply n with Nyquist rate. The reason is, here we will be increasing frequency of original signal by n times, right? Now let me explain differentiation property. Here we are considering original signal x of t, which is having Nyquist rate f of n. Then after differentiation means for dx of t divided by dt, Nyquist rate will be as it is, it will be fn. The reason is after differentiation, we don't change frequency of original signal, right? So Nyquist rate after differentiation will remain as it is. Now I'll explain you integration property. Here we have original signal x of t which is having Nyquist rate f of n. After integration, Nyquist rate will remain same. The reason is after integration, we don't change frequency of original signal. That's why Nyquist rate will remain same, right? Now I'll discuss about last property that is multiplication property. Here I'll consider two signals. One signal is x of 1t that is having Nyquist rate fn1 and second signal is x2 of t that is having Nyquist rate fn2. After multiplication of these two signal, Nyquist rate that will be addition of these two frequencies means it will be fn1 plus fn2. The reason is if you multiply two signals, then there will be two frequency components, addition of two frequencies and subtraction of two frequencies. So, but obviously addition is having highest frequency. 
So here Nyquist rate that will be also addition of Nyquist rate of signal 1 plus Nyquist rate of signal 2. So that is how different properties are there and using these properties one can solve many problems based on Nyquist rate. In future coming videos I will be solving examples based on Nyquist rate. Stay tuned with this channel. Thank you so much for watching this video.